Okay, welcome to DNW Class 6. Today I want to talk about building your personal brand. And I want to give you three important things by the end, okay? Number one, I want you to be able to come out of this lecture with a banger bio for socials. Two, and know what to post and stay consistent. And three, begin to craft your voice. So why bios matter? Imagine this, okay? You're going to a party and you're meeting new people. And this is what you're hit with. People always ask, right? Oh, what do you do? Uh, what are you into? And then this is your response. <laughs> Delusion is the solution. Imagine you go to a party and what do you do, Brayden? Delusion is solution. Also, I'm building a um, chesky.ol, you know, like, or hey, what do you do, Rohit? Hey, Rohu Films, <laughs> right? Nyati, hey, what's up? What are you up to? I'm walking along the pathless path. <laughs> or, uh, or you go to Maeve, right? What are you into, Maeve? What do you do? Blee with BG Girl, out now. Is it a podcast? No, just go check it out. I don't know if I want to click. So this is kind of the situation I kind of discovered, right? Um, and you really want to imagine yourself in someone else's shoe. Because all of you saw his profile, we're all kind of laughing, and all of this roast is like in, in like good nature, is that we all recognize, oh man, if you put it in those terms, something needs to change, right? And you're on a social platform, which means that you're going to meet people, new, pe new people are going to meet you at least once a day. Sometimes new people are going to be meeting you every single hour or by the minute, and if something blows up, they're going to meet you by the seconds. So you really want to help them to understand you. So I'm going to give you some accounts that I personally like, and they keep it dead simple. So uh, Sebastian, he's a graphic designer. Look at his stuff. Nothing, like, nothing complicated here, nothing too mysterious. Graphic designer, open for commissions. And then if you go to his IG page, you will just see sick images, and it's so easy to know how to talk to Sebastian, right? Um, anybody know Sean Wasabi? Yeah, so like music producer, right? Super simple. He just says music producer, and then now you know, okay, if you go to Spotify, what is it going to be? It's going to be music, right? Um, how many uh, listen to this podcast? This podcast is banger. Like this podcast, let's look at the bio, right? Learn from history's greatest entrepreneurs. Every week I read a biography of an entrepreneur and tell you what I learned. 340 biographies down, a thousand to go. So all of you are starting your own thing. David Sendra literally does a podcast on every single entrepreneur you could ever think of, right? So super clear. Uh, how many of you follow or know Duolingo's Twitter? You, you, you should definitely study this, this Twitter account. But let's just start simple. Free language education for the world, available on Android, iOS, and the web. Super clear, right? So after looking at many of your bios, uh, I just want to tell you this. This is not the place to be creative. Brayden, please delete. Delusion is the solution. Um, there were several others, you know, walking along the pathless path. Just, let's switch it up. Keep it really clear, like all of these examples, and keep it really short. And I can anticipate what many of you are going to think. Uh, it's just like you're more complex than that, right? Why did you put delusion as a solution? Um, I was in like a marketing kind of thing in September, um, and I put for my slide that I'm delusional, and everyone was laughing. So. I see, I see. What about you, Yeti? Um, white? Yeah, I don't know. I just felt like I had no, like, oh, I just felt like I had no direction. So I was kind of just like walking on a pathless path. So that's why I just put it. Yeah, because you're, you're actually trying to capture, like, something, like, complex about yourself. But I want you to ask this question, again, because you're, you guys are all now trying to build something, right? So your socials suddenly become something a little bit different, right? So you yourself probably expect when you talk to someone else to get a simplified version, right? But then if the simplified version kind of intrigues you, then you're going to start to ask more questions. So let's do take two. 
We're meeting new people again. How many of you know this particular thing? Design, uh, document dot design mode equals on. Okay, I'm gonna blow your mind now. Do you see this? All right, I, you don't need to know how to code. Right click, inspect, go to console, type in document dot design mode equals on. Now watch this. Ready? You could directly edit on this. And I want you to, every time, anytime you're trying to make a bio or writing a tweet or doing a post, turn on your design mode. So what should we change uh, row hits to? Making a film school. Making a film school? Any other suggestions? Yeah, let's just combine them, right? Building a school to teach anyone how to make better films. How's this? What, what's the next thing you'll want to do with this? Like if you saw this profile. Check, check, out this, check out the school, right? Or what you're going to do, if that captures your attention, you're going to scroll down and start to look at the feed, right? So, so you, you kind of have to start to think about like everything that you put online actually can be designed. And so this is why I'm building a school that teaches anyone to make better films, right? And some of you actually have really good ones. So for example, this is Katz on Twitter, music producer. Music producer? Oh, okay, so if I go to Spotify, I can check out the tracks. Uh, Niati is actually really clear. Navigating brown girl trauma. That's on her IG, right? So you should adapt to the platform, but please stay consistent. So that way when people find you on every single platform, they know exactly what you're about and who you are. And if you think about this, suddenly I think this will help you to figure out what, you're, what you should be posting. Because I was looking at all of your socials, I think all of you could actually be posting more about your work. And the reason is because you do not want to delay building an audience. That is the most valuable and the most powerful thing that you can have, is that while you are in SF2, not only are you working on your project, but you're also building an audience. Because there's a high chance that your project is gonna change after SF2. But if you start getting a habit of building an audience, then every person who starts to believe in you can be on a journey, right? So let's look at this. Now we know who you are. Imagine again you're at a party, okay? And you're meeting new people. Hi. I'm Kat, I produce music, right? So this is her profile. Hi, I'm Rohit, I'm building a film school. This is his profile, right? What are questions would you ask Rohit or uh, um, Kat? If somebody introduced you, hey, I'm building a film school, what questions would you ask? Yeah? Who, sorry, get the, uh, get the mic. I just said why. That's it? Yeah. Like, why are you building a film school? Okay, any other, Ryan? I would ask, uh, where is it? Okay, where is it? That's a good one. Yes? I would ask what kind of films? Okay, what kind of films? Yeah, like, we actually all know this, right? You're gonna ask, you're gonna naturally ask questions like, why? Oh, that's cool, what kind of music do you make? Oh, how can I join your film school? Uh, are you doing it full time? And some of you actually did a good job in starting to answer these questions, right? So Kat actually said, I quit my tech job to make music full time, right? So, so instantly on her feed, it answers one of the anticipated questions. Um, let's look at, you don't mind me roasting you a little bit, right, Rohit? <laughs> let's look at Rohit, right? Um, oh, pretty good. Rohit just posted this, uh, Okay, <laughs> um, posted this uh, on March 4th, right? Learn anything about filmmaking, just hit, hit my DMs, right? If I saw this, building a school to teach anyone how to make better films, and then I saw this, rather than the Hey Rohu films, I suddenly will have a better incentive if I just came across Rohit to like, 
hey, you're building a film school. Uh, Josh and I are looking sick people to like help us with films. Maybe I'm not helping you build a film school, but suddenly you have a connection with us, right? Um, but yeah, you see like how the, the bio is actually a pretty powerful thing to kind of connect your entire feed. So the question here is, once Rohit has this bio, what should he be posting about? How do you get into the film school? How do you get into film school? What else? How to make better films. Excuse me? How to make better films. How to make better films? Yeah. The process of building film school? Yeah, the process of building a film school. These all seem like, man, I feel like what you're teaching us is so too simple. But I'm trying to bring this to your attention because it is very simple, but we just have to have a better job of doing it. And I'm going to show you. Build Space, we're in a very dark place at different points along our journey. I'm going to show you. I'm, gonna, I'm digging into the archives. Uh, somebody raise your hand. Was it? Uh, I was going to say, have you taught anybody else, like filmmaking? Have I what? Like, not you. <laughs> <laughs> but like, for Rohit, uh, one of the questions I would ask is like, OK, you want to, like, who else have you taught? You know what have they made? Credibility. Oh, credibility, right? Yeah, so I think one of the things that's interesting is that, so, OK, let's click into Rohu Films. Um, Yeah, so one thing here is how can, how can Rohit build credibility? So one thing, building credibility here will probably be somewhere along the lines of follower counts, how engaged the posts are, those kinds of things to build credibility, right? But then when you go to the site, you probably need some um, social proof, at least get some testimonials, right? Or this one, you probably trust this person because over 100K followers. But don't think that you can only build credibility if you have a large amount of followers because you can also check out people's engagements. For example, wait, I'm not gonna call different people out. There are clearly accounts with over 80K followers, but every single post has like 2K engagement. So, you know, like the credibility immediately drops because you think, is it because of a bots or something like that? Crypto accounts? Yeah. OK. This is our bio. We're at a place where people build cool shit. Uh, actually, YouTube does not strike us for that, so that's good. So what do we post? We posted this one today, right? Because we're at a place where people build cool shit, so what should you see on our feed? At least something about people building cool shit, people learning about building cool shit, or we teach you how to build cool shit, right? Just everything needs to be hyper-focused. Um, let's look at some examples. Is uh, Edgar here? Hello, do you mind if I look? Yeah, let's look into this. So first off, this, this account is actually, in terms of, well first off, you got AI Reality TV as IG. That's just like amazing, right? Nice. And then uh, the bio says, AI Reality TV, watch and join the first AI Reality TV show. I think it's actually pretty good. Like you could change little things here and there, but this is already pretty good. But what happens? <laughs> the feed is just not congruent. I think I changed the account before it was French AI guy, and then it was personal branding. Yeah, yeah, okay. So before it was French AI guy, now it's Area TV. So I see. Um, when are you posting new new stuff on IG or uh, Twitter? So far, I've been more focusing on Twitter for the past few weeks. So. I see. I see. Yeah. But I think one, one thing that's cool here is, well, this was so posted, I quit right? my job to create AI Reality TV, a video game similar to The Sim or Animal Crossing, but every character is an artificial intelligence, meaning it can have its own reflection, decision, and conversation. I started by creating my own characters and sharing their little adventures on social media. But then people started to ask if they could have their own character. So for the last three weeks, I've been working hard to make that happen. And today, I'm happy to announce that the simulation is live and running and that the first users are starting to get their very own AI characters. We've got Danny from Venezuela, Bonnie from LA, Orobrovsky from Canada, and more coming every day. Come on AI and I'll send you the link. Here's a question. It's actually not a bad video at all, right? Good engagement. How could this account be better? Instantly. Yeah. I think that if the 
I think the thumbnails or the cover photo on each of the posts, if it if it showed a little bit more of the, um, the like what it is, it's what are the AI reality TV is. Like if you just ch change the color cover to a segment of his AI reality, I think I think that that's one step. Yeah. That's something. Any other thoughts? I think Bronson pretty much nailed it. This would be so much better if the thumbnail was even, for example, um, something like this, right? It's just all very clear that it's something that's happening on AI Radio TV. And on Twitter is more like there's only this like image of the show all the time on everything. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Because one thing that when I saw this, I immediately thought, oh, is this person, this character, actually AI generated? Or is it something else, right? Um, so yeah, like keeping the feed very consistent is a nice thing. For example, um, before we come here, let's just look at this one. Actually, let's look at uh, Samia's, right? Let's, let's first look at the bio. Could it be better? Yes. Yes. Okay, remember last time. Clear, good writing is erasing things. What can we erase? The first two lines. 20. 20? Yeah. Why did you include 20? I just thought people should know that I'm making good music at such a young age. <laughs> <laughs> I would agree. But that only works if you're like 18, 19. <laughs> when the first digit. I just lost my pen. <laughs> I told you I'd get you. If the first digit starts with a one, then you could, you could flex a little bit. When it becomes two, nah. So yeah. Um, <laughs> I would also remove, um, I don't know, actually Delhi to San Francisco is like kind of cool. Ryan, did you have something to say? I don't even know if you should erase anything, but if you just put making any pop music on the first line. Yeah. yeah, it's also a really good suggestion, right? But uh, it, makes, it makes it look kind of weird, though, then, right? It's like long, medium, short. You write out short, medium, long. Um, personally, I think it's pretty cool if it's just making Hindi pop music on the very top. And then maybe the second line, you can write something a little bit longer, right? Um, move from Delhi to San Francisco to pursue uh, music full time. That in itself is like, oh, kind of sick. Like somebody just moved from India to the States to make Hindi pop. That's like kind of unique, right? Um, but when you go to the feed, here's a question. Is it clear that this person makes music? Karen, what do you think this person makes? Honestly, it kind of looks like art. OK. Like, like I. Yeah, there's more like aesthetic layout as the thumbnails rather than something hinting at music, I guess. Like a blog. Yeah, yeah. So let's, I'm gonna show you this uh, Sean Wasabi's. If you look at his, you can see this, right? Very clear music producer. As soon as you scroll down, these three are kind of kind of distracting. But he pens three things up here. What is this instrument called, by the way? Anybody know? There's like a very specific name for it. And, and, and just like, look at the psychology when you are on here. You see music producer, you scroll down. Well, that's kind of interesting. You immediately want to click in. And when you click in, he doesn't disappoint you. He just starts. <laughs> Right, so you're like, oh, sick, what is this? Then you start clicking another one. <laughs> yeah, see, it's, just, it's so simple, but it's so good. Um, yeah, just showing this example again. I know I'm moving kind of fast. But any, any questions so far? Like you really got to master the first two things before you even move on to anything else. A really clear bio, and now your entire feed should also be really clear, all reinforcing what your bio is talking about. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes. 
What was number three of the, the three important things by the end? We're getting to a third one. Okay. How to craft your own voice. Let's just jump into it. Um, sorry. Okay. I also want to ask, um, just can, in terms Can you speak a little bit louder? Yeah, sure. Um, how do you, uh, if you're using your, like, your own personal account now, yeah. should you still just kind of be not putting just regular stuff, just still kind of focus it on the type of work you're doing? Yeah, I would get to that. Uh, maybe I'll just, I'll jump to this right now. Is, uh, you know how you, all of you probably have a friend that just convinces you to watch all kinds of shows, right? Our uh, Bill Space group, it will probably be Stavin. Stavin's always convincing us to watch like some show, and then eventually after a month or two months then we're all watching the show, right? And you should be that friend for your own work. And uh, I'm gonna show you how Farza does it. I kind of, I start to call Farza's account like the friend of Bill Space. If you look at Farza's account, he says I'm the founder of Bill Space. I think he can get away with that because uh, his account is probably big enough. Um, but then if you look at this, his entire feed, he's the friend that just hypes up Bill Space, right? And he does it in a way where you don't feel like he's shelling Bill Space. And I'll kind of t talk to you about like, when you're building your own personal account, what kind of content you should be writing about. Um, but I kind of want to show you how to craft your own voice first. And then I want to show you guys the dark ages of Bill Space. Uh. <laughs> I just heard how embarrassing it was. You say what? <laughs> so, uh, you really cannot skip steps to get here. After talking to some of you, I know a lot of you are always asking, how do we tell better stories? How do we tell better stories? But you can tell the most amazing story, but if it's on your feed and your feed is just like all over the place, it's not going to hit as hard. And uh, many people are doing similar things. There are tons of people building AI, tons of people building a film school, tons of people making music, but this is kind of where you can like have your own take on things. So let's go to Duolingo again. Free language education for the world, available on Android, iOS, and the web. Super straightforward. But then there's a twist. This is the kinds of stuff that this account runs. You really capture my eyes. Or this one. You forgot one. Every pop culture reference on Attack on Titan, right? Um, or uh, my brain, like they also encourage this kind of meme stuff. Uh, anybody use Duolingo before? You ever get on this notification? Yeah, and then like somebody said my brain at 3 a.m. Or they also do these TikToks. It's absolutely unhinged. <laughs> Yeah, right? But this all takes time. They actually took a lot of time to like really hone in, okay, what is Duolingo? And until they, everybody knows what Duolingo truly is, then they can start to have fun, right? And if you like, Josh always says, man, I have the best job ever. But we were also in days in which we were like, what do we ship on IG? So let's get to the dark ages of our socials. Again, we're at a place where people build cool shit. Let's see what we're shipping. First off, let's look at this, right? We're at a place where people build cool shit. We just now got to the point where when you come to this place, you can see this is Declan, this is Amar, this is Daniel, right? All these people, and then there's like a random Jeffrey Ball Tesla. Um, <laughs> but it's like, it's becoming clear and clear, like this is a place where people building cool shit, right? But we also were doing stuff like this. <laughs> Here are seven games that people are making in Nights and Weekends Season 4. But yeah, you can see we're like iterating, right? We're, we're also trying to find out like, okay, what can we talk about? Let me show you some of the shenanigans that I have done. Oh. Such as this one. It's good to have friends that keep you accountable. 
hey, I shipped this, a whole team agreed with it. Uh, it's a fake phone thing, you know, far as that, did you get the, get the fuck out logo host? Make sure to ship uh, shrooms later, bro. Um, or there was even a darker time. So let's look at timestamp. Seven, well, 7, 14 a.m., December 28, 2022, not that long ago. And then there was a time when we weren't really sure what we we're shipping. And then I was shipping this. Startups be like, <laughs> like, like there were times when we were just like, I don't even know what's happening anymore, right? So it took a long time for us to figure out um, it around this line and start to ship things that just all is, everything is just coherent. So I'm showing this so that way you don't just think I'm roasting you, but also showing our own process, right? Um, and look at some of the stuff that were really good that we shipped in the beginning. And these things always net us the most amount of like engagement and building fans is when we just started out being super clear. Look at this one. Like the engagement is insane. Uh, Web3 is a new frontier. You also notice that we use uh, uppercase. Over 100K builders are pioneering, oh, that's, that's a weird copy, are pioneering this future of the internet with us, right? But it's super clear, like this is gonna be a resource tweet. Um, but now we're building a YouTube and it's kind of hard because right now when we tweet, we have to start from ground zero again. So our engagements are not that good, but you can always start by being really, really clear. Our campus lectures are now available for everyone, starting with these lectures, and this is what it covers, right? So this one did pretty well for that account, but it's because we're just being really, really clear again. So for example, on our Twitter, I probably don't have as much freedom to fuck around anymore, because right now I'm rebuilding something new, and I have to explain to my audience, or our audience, okay, we're doing YouTube, right? So what does that mean? But I feel like a lot of you are probably thinking, I still don't know what to talk about. Because if you did, I think you would be posting on Twitter every single day. You would be posting on IG every single day. And I really encourage you to start to think about how to do that. Um, we talk about the friend at your work. And these are kind of two things that you can talk about on your personal account related to what you're actually building. One, share about what you're learning. And two, share about what you've become an expert in. And I'm gonna use Farza's account as an example. So, he's sharing about what we're doing or becoming an expert in, right? The first one, sharing about what we're learning. So Farza this morning tweeted about learnings with YouTube, right? So again, he's like that friend that's telling you, y'all we're doing, like I got this bill spacing, we're doing something cool, right? It's YouTube. Um, Oh, give me a shout out. Thanks, bro. Wait, when did you take this? Yeah. Um, or Farza is, it has become an a, a expert in selling authentically. So Farza is tweeting about what he feels like he has become an expert in, right? Or um, what's another one? I think I digged up another one. Ah, this is a really good one is that you should always aim to have truth in your posts, and that kind of relates back to like sharing things authentically. And I really want you to like take away with this as well. Like a little bit of confession can actually gain a lot of acceptance. So take this one for example, right? We post, uh, Farza posted this, where he was very honest about what we were doing in 2023, right? Or, even this post, right? We're basically kind of confessing to you or admitting to you some of our mistakes and then the audience responds pretty well. Or even something as silly as this, but it's also true. How many of you got this email? Yeah, it took us a long time actually, I would say, to learn a lot of like how to get good at various platforms. And um, we just tell people we were dumb, don't beat us, and these are things that we had to figure out the hard way, right? So then it relates to the audience. Why does it relate? Because everybody can relate that these things are actually really, really hard to do. And uh, yeah, I think if today, like, forget all of the complicated things like 
storytelling, forget, you know, like, oh, how do, how do I do, um, what's a very common question? Oh, how do I make my cold emails really, really good? I think if you just start doing these three things, it's gonna flow to everything else. Um, and storytelling will become easier. And uh, maybe I can give you, this, that topic is a whole lecture in itself. I wanted to pack it in, but I feel like it'd become too long. Hell, we could even have two DMWs next week if you guys want. And uh, any questions?